M0FXP playing radio here. As you can see, it's snowing outside as well. HF in the background and also some D-Star. Anyway, I got this case and it wasn't very expensive. It was £2.48 in the UK, Amazon. So I thought, well, I'll play with it. I've got some bits lying around. Let's have a little play. Now, it's a, you can use the case in two different ways. You get one lid that allows you to have the, the GPIO pin section exposed or covered. You choose. There's exposed, covered. And I thought, oh, I can make a little blue DV hotspot with that. So normally we'd use a Pi Zero and a hat. You don't need a, an OLED screen to make a hotspot. OLED screen is just, and you can add on for information. It's really easy, you just solder it on on top and Pi Star does all the, pro, all the work for you. Now, normally we'd use a Pi Zero in the base, in this, you know, in this plastic acrylic case. But we're thinking, right, okay, well, Pi Zeros are really expensive at the moment. Now, this is an MMDVM USB hat. It can't be used with Raspberry, sorry, with, with Pi Star, but it can be used with Blue DV. Now, you may have used the Blue DV software, it looks like this, and providing you've got a, um, you know, digital radio like DMR, D-Star Fusion, you can use this to connect. It does need an MMDVM hat. You can use, actually, a very budget USB uh, T sort of TTL adapter with some wires, but this is easier. So the hat you can buy, if you're lucky, around £20 on some of the main selling sites. I've bought them for 15 before, but if you're not lucky, 30. The USB board is on AliExpress. I'll put a link in. I think they're around 20 pound, maybe 25. It does have micro USB, a couple of switches on there. Now the switch is in the A in the left position, just for me when it works. So I'm gonna put this together and get it working. It's not perfect, and we you can obviously modify it. I'm listening to HF in the background. So let's have a go. Okay, so we'll get the hat, and the base unit is, grab it. So this is the, the lid unit, which I don't think we're gonna use today. Although if I was going to just put a Raspberry Pi in there, and just run it as a DV switch server, now that would work really well, Pi Zero, my little DV switch server. I've got it on my Pi Two at the moment, but that's not what we're doing today. So let's get the hat, let's see if it will fit in there. Now it only goes one way around, because you need the USB here. Now remember this, this board, this case has been designed for a Pi Zero, not for this USB board, but as far as I can see, virtually the same. So we're gonna clip the cover over the top. The cover you use is this one with the hole for the GPIO. We're going to clip it over the top and see if it even clips on. Remember, £2.48. I don't really care if it doesn't fit, so let's have a look. I would say nearly fits. The USB power isn't quite showing. We do need to have that showing so we can power it. So I'm gonna have a little, I might have to just make the hole a little bit bigger so we can get my USB in there. So when using these kind of things, you want a longer than normal USB. You can buy them, I've, <laughs> I've cut mine back, but you can actually buy them longer than normal. So let's just see how much I need to adjust this or can I push down it? There's a little gap there between the plastic where the screw, because this hat will be, can be screwed to the base. This packet, this acrylic case comes with screws. But right now, we're just going to get it in there. And maybe the screw will pull that down, but we don't want to bend the board, do we? Okay, well I took the lid off again. And I used the screws to sort of pull it down that come with the this case. And it seems to have worked. So I've just got a Phillips screwdriver and we're screwing it all back. So we've got the four screws in there now. You can see the hat and the model. The next thing we do is put the lid on. Now remember the board at the bottom is running 
the hotspot, the actual MMDVM hot MMDVM hotspot is a radio. You've got to remember that it's transmitting 70 centimeters from this board, and then it's doing the DMRD style, you know, work here. It doesn't make DMRD style fusion, it run it lets it go through it. But the the 70 centimeter part is what's sending that information that's been decoded by your radio um, or receiving it from this antenna, which is 70 centimeter antenna. And you know, most of them have these, these budget things. So anyway, here's the hat. Now we're gonna put the hat on to this case, like so. It does fit, so let's just, actually, let's take it off. Sometimes you get Pi Zeros without these, you have to solder them on. It's very doable, but better to buy them pre-soldered on. Let's put this case on. It only goes one way. It's clipped on nice, so that looks nice and neat. Remember, two pound, you know? So all we need now, of course, the hat, the hat is going, going to stick out. There's no cover for the actual hat. We need to just slide this on fully, like so. Now there is a bit of, it is being raised slightly here. Now in theory, if you wanted to, you could try and make something up, drill a hole where the antenna goes, then it would slide down. Now it wouldn't be connected, physically connected to the bottom, but I still think if I mark that and drill a hole, and really I've got to drill a hole when I'm looking at the top, I can see that if I drill a hole the correct size about where it says, if we look at the, try and zoom in, where it says about CR, so it says micro there. If I drill a hole about where it says CR, it will be, then it will fit over and then we can, Decide if it even needs to be fixed, but it would still look like quite a neat little unit, wouldn't it? Uh, so I will do that, but first of all, let's see if this thing's going to work. So what we need to do, we've got it all connected. We need to download the Blue DV software. I'll put the link in the description. Fire it up, connect the USB cable. So let's put the USB cable, which does fit. Starts to flash straight away. Then on my computer, we will uh, right click device manager and look for device uh, look for the port number we just we've already downloaded the program so let's go right click device manager port number is 8 close that then we're going to open the blue dv which now does run um let me think now, it does run NXDN. Let that program open. Here's our program. Now settings, we just go menu, setup. Now, of course, I've done this before. You can copy mine. So select COM8. Uh, we're not using a thumbstick. So up here, unselect that. We're not using that. We're just using it in the normal way. And DMR number up here is important, call sign. I always tick these two boxes so the colors are green on receive, red on transmit. Frequency is important because we're gonna need to be listening on this frequency, 431550, when we fire up this hotspot. And then we click save. Now, if it's working correctly, when we slide this on, the serial, you will see that it says NMDVM hat. And I'll just show you the hotspot. Now you're not going to get an OLED screen on this. Remember, that's a Pi Star thing, but it's going to start to flash. And right, let's get the antenna on there, and then we're going to grab my radio. What we'll do, we'll choose D Star because I've got a D Star radio here handy, which is my D Star one here, and the frequency on this one is set to four three three five fifty. So let's change. That frequency. So we're going to turn it off, then go back into settings and just check my D star setting, which is down here on the bottom. I told it to connect to reflector 30 chi, C, D star module B. So that should be good. We'll save. 
we'll turn it on. Then we'll, oh, we need to just get the right frequency in. Forgot about that. Menu, setup, and it's 433 three up here, look. Just delete one, put a three in. 433, three. you do need all the noughts. Then save. Log in and now when we turn this on it we will we may hear the radio talk. Here's my radio 433550 and we it does say link to reflector at the moment. We'll change that to use reflector. Because the DV DVs a uh, blue DV will do all the work anyway. So we'll leave that there. Try and get a hot spot in the same shot. Then I'll show you sliding on the D stop. We'll just slide that on and it, yeah, we allow access because probably still haven't used it for a while. Zero, right, so you saw that it did connect. It says on my software link to 30 Charlie. I'll try and show it all in one shot. So we're going to TX and go. M0 FXB, Mike Zero, Fox X3 Bravo, calling for a contact on 30 Charlie. Turn it up. You can see me there. It does say we're linked here. Remember, we can use, if we use a fusion radio or a DMR radio, we can use that. That looks great. What I'm going to do is go off and make this hole in that plastic case. M0 FXB audio check. Mike Zero Foxtrot X Ray Bravo. Can I have an audio check? M0 FXB. So I actually looking up here, although it says link to 30 Charlie, at the top here, it is saying one Charlie. So what I'm going to do is go back to 30 Charlie. Click link. See if that makes any difference. Oh, I heard something then. It's trying. It's definitely trying. Now it says not linked. <laughs> uh, link. Someone's there. Link to R E F zero three zero C. Right, let's try again. So it says use reflector on the radio. We're keying the mic. Link. I see it worked first time, and now it doesn't want to work. But I still think it's a good video because you're getting an idea of what we're trying to do with our. Not link. Our little hat here. Let's try one Charlie then. And you can do looking at this, all these call signs. You can update your host as well when you're not connected. So let's do one Charlie link. No. It's definitely trying. Not linked, reflector, one Charlie, call sign. Might need a newer version of software. Link to R E F zero zero one C. Okay, we've got someone says we're linked. It's not going into TX, I don't really know why. But let's finish off the hotspot anyway. Okay. Drill, hole made. Not sure if it's lined up yet, but let's have a go. There you go. It's actually working as well. Did you hear that? Let's get the antenna on there, but that was a station replying. I'm gonna screw that on. And we're going to reply and see if we get it. Here it goes, go like so. Make our drill famous as well. Uh, K, K, um, is it KN5, M0FXB returning to you? And this is what the hotspot looks like. 
Pretty good. Ooh. Good morning, sir. Um, I guess uh, it's probably good afternoon. Um, name is Mike, Mike India Kilowatt Echo. Mike, and uh, we're in Aiken, South Carolina. Back to you, KN5 set. Well, I'm very pleased with that. KN5 V. Let's just get this up. Yeah, hi Mike, really good to meet you. My name's Andreas, located Southwest UK, uh, using Blue DV, a little, uh, little USB hat running a MMDVM hotspot, and an ICOM ID 51. Uh, Southwest UK, Andreas. Andreas, very good uh, to meet you, and um, hello. Um, I am mobile. Working great, and this hotspot costs about forty-five pound. Fun time, seven three, all the best.